kite mating craftsmanship. Kite, the earliest aircraft in the human world, is said to have been made and flown by Chinese people 2,000 years ago. Extraordinary imagination and repeated test flights enable humans to keep creating kites of many different shapes and advancing distinctive crafts. In ancient times, kites were originally used in the military. It was in the Tang Dynasty that kite flying gradually became a later activity. Kite mating turned into a professional craft in the Song Dynasty and reached its climax from the 14th century to early 20th century. At that time, flying kites gained in popularity. It was deemed graceful for literati to make kites personally and meet friends with a shared interest in kites. The kite mating process includes various crafts such as structuring, paper honging, and color drawing. Apart from these basic crafts, the workmanship of kites is regionally characterized. From Beijing to Tibet, kites fly above the whole China. Tianjin kites stand out for the three-dimensional structure resulting from the tannin and mortise framework. Nantong kites, named Ban Yao, are creatively installed with whistles that can make beautiful sounds when flying. Weifang kites are most famous for the large and magnificent dragon head centipedes. Beijing kites adopt special bionics technique to create lifelike shapes. In Lhasa, people play kite fighting by flexibly changing the length of the kite string. Kite artisans put Chinese traditional culture and local characteristics into their crafts, making the tight craftsmanship unique to China. As the poem line goes, children return home in haste after school, eager to fly tides when there is yet wind. The flying tides have always been an unforgettable part of our sweet memory in childhood.